So, kids getting a driver's license, huh? Yeah, clear the roads! Haha. <laughs> Seriously though, it can be a little intimidating to put your new driver behind the wheel. Just look at the statistics. Teens between the ages of 15 and 19 are much more likely than experienced drivers to be in a crash. In fact, about half of new teen drivers will be involved in a crash before they graduate from high school. States nationwide have been taking note of this trend and have committed to doing something about it. That's why many states have adopted graduated driver licensing regulations. Graduated driver licensing is a system that is proven effective at reducing teen drivers' high crash risk by 20 to 40%. Some of these regulations may seem complicated at first, but don't worry, I'm here to help. Welcome to Graduated Driver Licensing Made Simple. Each state has its own specific rules and requirements, but here's where you'll find a general overview of just what the Graduated Driver Licensing Program, or GDL, looks like and how it works. You can check with your motor vehicle department for details specific to your state. Meet Daniel and his mom Kay. They're about to start on the great adventure of the GDL. As soon as Daniel reaches his state's driving age limit, he's ready for graduated driver licensing. Step 1. Applying for his learner permit. In most states, he'll first need to complete or be enrolled in driver training or education in order to start this step. Next, he and his parent or guardian will head to his state's motor vehicle department where he'll take a written exam and a vision test. If he passes, he'll receive a learner's permit. That's where the fun part begins. During this phase, Daniel will spend a set number of practice hours behind the wheel with a parent, guardian, or qualified adult. Most states require daytime and nighttime hours, and some also call for practice during differing weather and road conditions. The supervised driving period is really important because it gives experienced drivers a chance to make sure that their protege is learning excellent safety practices behind the wheel. Meet Amanda and her uncle Jason. Amanda has just completed her practice hours and the learner's permit phase of the GDL. She's now ready for the second phase, which begins with the road test. To take the test, she and Jason head to their local motor vehicle department, where Amanda will show off her shiny new driving skills. With a passing score here, she'll enter the intermediate stage of the GDL. Now she can finally drive unsupervised. During the intermediate phase, there are safety regulations in place to keep Amanda safe while she continues to learn. Each state has a specific number of months or age at which the intermediate phase ends. Until then, there will be restrictions on when, why, and with whom Amanda can drive. These restrictions are in place to minimize risk and distractions and maximize the experience the new driver gets. Amanda knows it's important to stay alert and aware while she's driving, because in every state, the law has specific provisions for intermediate drivers. Repeated accidents or injuries caused by drivers with an intermediate license carry fines and can even result in their license being suspended. Of course, Although Amanda can drive unsupervised during this period, research shows that the more hours a parent spends with their teen behind the wheel, the better a driver they become. After completing her state's intermediate license period, all GDL safety restrictions will be lifted. At this point, Amanda is a fully licensed, unrestricted, ready-to-go driving machine. But a parent's role is hardly done. In fact, the first year after a teen is fully licensed is one of the most dangerous for them on the road. So parents should plan on riding in the car with a teen whether it's to the mall or a sporting event, frequently. And of course, through the entire process, parents can serve as role models for their teens by using safe driving practices when their teens are in the car. That includes wearing seat belts, following speed limits, and avoiding distractions. Hopefully, this handy guide has helped you make sense of the ins and outs of graduated driver licensing and why it's so important. For more information and specific rules for your own state and cool resources, check out allstatefoundation.org slash teen driving. Happy and safe driving.